How's it going everybody? So today I'm going to be checking out the brand new single uh, from the band Illumishade. Uh, the name of the song is Elegy. Now uh, they released a debut album uh, a, a while back um, and, and it's a side project of, from the vocalist of the band uh, Elevati, which I used to listen to a lot. You know, I'm a fan of that band. They're kind of a folk metal band. Um, and uh, yeah, so she kind of created this side project uh, band and uh, yeah, like I said, I missed the, the debut album that they had released, but this is a brand new single from what I believe is an upcoming album. So I was like, you know what, let, let me check this out, you know, better late than never and see what the band is all about. Because I've heard good things about the band, so hey, you know, and, and you know, any member of Elevate, if they go in and make something, you know, I'm definitely going to be intrigued. And I think this, uh, this band is going to be more suited to... Uh, my channel uh, than uh, Elevati because you know I don't really cover folk metal here but yeah so like I said this is a brand new song from them uh, first time checking out the band and uh, yeah let's see what we got you know Rangers go
Wow, the, the keyboard, I really like the keyboard in this song. First of all, it, it just, there were some really nice melodies there, but then also just the, it, the, the, like the backing sound was kind of like a keyboard and it looked like, you know, there were certain notes that were kind of being held and she had some sort of rig where, where she would kind of move her hand, it would kind of draw out the notes or, or slightly like bend the notes a little bit or, or, or shift them. And it was just really, really cool. And especially even like seeing it there, you know, with the way she had like her hands up, it just looked really cool. And she's like manipulating the sound of, of the notes. I, that, that was just really, really tight. So all the way up until the bridge, I probably would have said, um, you know, it's a solid song. Um, but, you know, somewhat uh, of like a standard fare, you know, it kind of had, for like a symphonic metal song, it kind of had um, uh, a not atypical new metal sort of sound with the guitars and, and the bass, which the bass was slapping, you know, I'll, I will say that. And the guitar had, had a really nice heavy sound, but yeah, it kind of had like a, a new metal kind of vibe. I really did like the verses though. Um, and then the chorus gets a little bit lighter, a little more melodic. Um, so, yeah, I, I was liking the song. Uh, I was going to say it just kind of, you know, solid, but it didn't really set itself apart too much, in my opinion. Um, but then once the bridge hit, the, the song got much more creative um, with everything. Uh, first of all, um, you know, you kind of had like a, a solo, you know, like a guitar solo and stuff. But, but then... It, it got a little trippy there a little bit too, especially with, with the vocals, with, with the rhythm of, of the guitar and the, and the bass, the music, and, and then her vocals, you know, it almost got a little like, very like kind of ethereal and stuff. And then that's really when the, the keyboard has started doing the, the cool stuff with the, the sounds. And it, it just got really creative and really neat and, and just kind of demanded your attention in that spot. And uh, so that when it came back out into the, the chorus and, and retained some of those elements and you got some violin in there, uh, it, it just, you know, it just transformed into something that w was a little bit more memorable. You know, it just kind of went that, that extra step, in my opinion, because um, like I said, it was solid. But then once the bridge hit and, and they incorporated some different kind of elements and like I said, got a little bit more creative with the, the songwriting and the sound. Um, it, it, it took it up a notch to uh, above a standard fare, in my opinion, and like I said, just made it more memorable. And one thing, and the drum work was fantastic here as well. Um, and one thing I will say that even before, like the bridge and all that stuff, even though I, I was saying it's kind of like you know standard solid uh, symphonic metal style song. The vocals are just phenomenal. Uh, so the vocals also just really kind of help set this apart because she just has such control, such a clear, crisp sound to her voice um, and her delivery and everything, which, you know, is to be expected. Anyone who's familiar with the band Elevate, you know that she has a wonderful voice, but it, it suits this sound very, very well uh, also. And so, you know, her, her voice also just helps carry the sound, um, you know, beyond just kind of a, a standard, some, uh, you know, general symphonic metal band. So, yeah, you know, there's definitely elements there that, that, that make this stand out somewhat. And I like the chorus. It, it's kind of stuck in my head right now. And I did like the, the verses, too. They kind of have a little bit of an edge to them. And, and again, the, with the, the vocals, her, her delivery is just really on point. Um, and uh, yeah, so really cool song. It's definitely a band that I'm going to, uh, you know, keep up with now. Um, probably try to check out their debut album at some point, but uh, it just can't be a priority at the moment. There's so much new stuff that I'm trying to listen to with the albums and such, but I'm definitely going to keep up with them. And, and you know, when they, when they release a new album, I'm going to check it out for sure because definitely intrigued here with the sound. Uh, definitely, they, they certainly have a... Uh, control over you know the the, the musicianship and, and like I said the vocals and definitely a talented bunch here that uh, are confident you know you can tell there's a confidence here um, in what they're doing so yeah pretty neat let me know in the comments down below have you listened to their debut album 
Are you fans of the band El Leite? Uh, what do you think of this song here? Are you looking forward to the new album? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Ranger, out.